Hi, I'm Chris from CodeReviewVideos.com and in this video we're going to continue on and this time move on to our repositories layout. So we're going to start off with the layout first and just going to add this in. Again, it's very sort of standard bootstrappy stuff. Uh, I'm going to call this, I'm going to give this a class of well and I'm just going to call this important stats and then we're going to add in a div that's going to be pulled to the right. So div class pull right and we're going to add in some, some little badges or whatever they are here. I think the badges, labels, something along those lines that, that display some little stats that we've got. And those stats, um, we're going to do a little bit of interesting sort of logic around pulling out the stats from our repositories. So label primary, in this case, is going to be repositories. So it's just going to be repository count. And this is one that we get from uh, the GitHub API. It's just repo count. And I'm just going to control uh, command and D to duplicate that same row um, and then give this one a most stars so figure out which of our repositories is has the most stars now interestingly bootstrap uh, sorry github don't tell you that by default so we're going to as i say we're going to use a little bit of uh, logic just to make things a little bit more interesting i suppose just to show you know advanced stuff or whatever you don't really need to to do it but it's uh, it's interesting all the same in my opinion anyway so then we're going to go off with a panel and panel default and again this is just stuff from bootstrap just i've just looked inside bootstraps uh, whatever it is bootstraps so I'm get bootstrap uh go into get i don't know getting started it's nice and components and then I've, I've just gone into here and used a panel to display it with the list group is the way that we're going to display it so yeah nothing uh, nothing crazy it's just all stuff that that's available inside bootstrap uh div class panel heading heading i mean this was literally copy and paste from from bootstrap's docs as well because css and styling and stuff if you've ever seen any of my stuff is not not my forte so we'll call this repo list and then inside here we're going to do uh, one of these unordered list uh, groups where we, we loop through an array so this is going to be a list group inside our panel and we're going to have four repo in repos now again we've not actually declared any of this yet so yeah don't worry too much if you're not sure where this is coming from we will cover it all as we go through um but we we are going to have we're going to go off to github in fact it's probably easiest to to very quickly demo this so repositories endpoint we're up to now and then list your repositories so the the repositories endpoint um that's not the one i want actually it's list user repositories yeah so users and then our username and then repositories so our repos so we're already on users code review videos so we could just stick at the end of there repos and we get back this array um it's an array notice of json json array containing all these json objects containing all our our repository information in there and again there's a ton of different stuff that we can pull out of here um bits and pieces that i'm not overly hugely in, in need of pulling everything out i only want about four fields i think so that's where all that data is coming from uh, just so you're aware and then again we're going to do a list uh, for each one we're going to do a little list item list group item in this case and uh, just close that tag off there and then what we need to do is we're going to need to render something out here so what i'm going to do is go ahead and create us a two new files repos repos.html twig which is where that code's going to live uh, that we've just seen and then i'm also going to create another one called repo so the individual list item is going to get put into this this one here but for the moment what we'll do is we'll just do it all in line so we're in for repo in repos i'm just going to open that up a touch i'm going to have a href and then a link to the repo url so repo.url now interesting new bit of syntax here we're inside this uh, for loop and now we can access the properties of each of the items in this subarray via the dot syntax or dot notation um yeah we've not covered that yet we've covered some other ways of using for but again i just want to try and cover off as many uh, different approaches to doing stuff that you can um so the next one's repo name and again we'll cover this as we go and actually create our controller maybe we should do that as we go through right now so we'll just carry on working with this and we'll just fake off uh, some repos so repos is going to be um, an array in fact we also have a couple more properties that we've added on so let's just close off some of these it's getting a little bit messy close that one probably need the styles anyway 
our index so that's what we're working with we've got this repos and repo we're, we're going to come back to them so we're inside here we've got this repo count and most stars just need to add those in otherwise we're going to get errors so repo count let's say there's 100 repos and most stars i think those are the actual uh, terms we'll just say uh, 67 or something it's just the which project has the most stars and then inside our index we already know we need a url and a name and these properties again are just coming straight off here so got a name and a url probably interested in the description as well even though that one's blank um, and then also stargazers count uh, that's a bit of a tricky one to spell so i'll just steal that one directly uh, stargazers count let's say for this one is going to be 50, uh, 46 whatever what else did we need so we need the name Now, interestingly, I've made a slight mistake there because what this needs to be is an array of arrays. So just a little bit of uh, extra sort of craziness to get your head around. We're in the repos is going to contain an array, but each of them is also going to be an array inside. So let's just quickly cover off why that is. So our JSON that we get back from GitHub is going to be an array of JavaScript objects. So these, this object syntax. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get an array, fine, and then we're going to convert each of the JavaScript objects to an array. That's where we get our array of arrays. Um, otherwise, it's not really going to know that there's multiple repositories inside. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that out, just duplicate this a couple of times to get three, um, three different entries. Now, of course, that's not how we get back the data from GitHub. So we're going to need to do a little bit of uh, translation-y type magic to, to sort that out. But I'll show you how we do that because we, at the moment, we don't really care how that happens. We're just passing in this entire sort of gigantic array of data, um, which is going to work for the purpose of mocking up. But for in the real implementation, when we get to that, we're, we're going to pull a lot of this out. Okay, so that should be the, the sort of layout that we're after. And it's just going to include a little star, the amount of stars that we've got, pull that off to the right uh, and show a little icon next to it. The repo description should display underneath the, the name and the name should be a link uh, to the actual repository. So let's see where we get with that. If we refresh, uh, I might not have included that. Oh, I have. Uh, so yeah, straight away we've got our, our nice looking uh, list. But again, all this data is uh, is garbage, really. If we was to want to pull in, say, someone else's repository, maybe Symphony's repository, maybe your own repository, whatever, that information is not going to obviously update. So we need to go ahead and start making this actually work and be dynamic. However, before we do that, let's just quickly tidy up. So we've, uh, we've left everything inside our uh, index, which we don't really want to do. So we've already gone ahead and created ourselves a repos um, in uh, template sorry so we can just paste all that stuff uh, leaving just the the div called small nine and then again i can do this include syntax so git hut uh, remember git hut directory and then another uh, colon and then we want the repos.html.twig and if we refresh that we should still all be working unable to find it github i keep doing that it's git hut got to uh, avoid copyright at all at all costs anyway uh, so that bit's working but again if we look inside repos we've got this sort of this messy thing going on here and what we could do is actually just extract this out as well into another include so let's go ahead and do that and just tidy this up a touch so let's pop this into repos uh, again that's come out a little bit messy honestly for my liking let's just tidy that up it's still quite messy honestly um yeah, get a bit weird about stuff like that, but it should be fine. Uh, and then inside repos, what we want to do is do another include. Use the wrong, wrong uh, brackets there. So include, and we want to use the git hut, git hut, repo .html .twig, and we should be good there. We just uh, save that off, refresh that. Yeah, so we're still rendering off okay. Um, and that, that's pretty much it where we, where we need to be for the moment. Um, we're going to start making the data more dynamic in the next video.